A barn in Webster County, Iowa, that's more than 100 years old, was set to be torn down, but the new owners decided they would relocate it instead. Roger Riley was there as this old barn navigated to its new home. In the fields of Webster County, there was a barn making its way across the landscape. I said I'm an old lady, but I just think it's exciting. The barn was rolling slowly across still frozen ground southwest of Duncombe. Mighty big job. The 105 year old barn had to make a tight turn past some neighbors' buildings to avoid taking down power poles. Were you nervous when they had to do that little loop around that pole? Was that nerve wracking for you all? I was, yeah, quite a bit. New owners, Matt and Libby Mitchell, have been planning this move for some time. And uh, we bought it, and, uh, and a year and a half later, we're moving it. Matt and Libby have already restored this small barn here. So they're not afraid to do another one. This is day four. We've been working on it. Wow. So, well, and then all the summer we were cleaning out the loft because yep. it was full of hay. Well, this barn here will have a purpose. It will eventually be used to house livestock. We didn't want to put up like a Morton building. We wanted a, something that was real. Mitchell's got some financial help from the Iowa Barn Foundation to help with the relocation. Well, this is kind of what I think what made Iowa these old barns, you know, the barn's 105 years old. And I mean, that's, this is what Iowa was like. I just like history. Okay. Well, and this is your grandpa's yeah, farm. My grandpa's farm. A sweetheart. <laughs> good neighbors. A good community behind you, good friends. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Yeah. And then, you know, just lots of support and working hard. Definitely a lot of hard work. Well, once the barn is settled into its new location, the Mitchells hope to get a new roof put on as soon as possible.